other day I had an idea. Damn! What? It's toilet! I'm on it! Why? I really wanted to know if you could 3D print a toilet. Get out! How do you get the camera? Get out! It's just an idea. And I know there should probably be more of a motivation behind doing things, but I really just want to 3D print a toilet. So I started by modeling up a basic toilet in Onshape, my go-to online CAD software. I modeled it with a tank, P-trap, and everything, and printed a miniature version. I want to fill it up with water, let's go! I haven't printed the like actual flap yet, so I'm gonna like just kind of stop it up with my fingers. I'm letting it go. <gasps> fill it up more. Flushing out yet? How uh. full does this toilet have to be? The tank might have to be a little bigger. This is a problem. Yes, yes it is a problem. Getting 3D prints to be watertight is not an easy task. Heck, if you saw this video, you might remember the giant Amogus gelatin mold. And let's just say that did not end well. So I asked my buddy Nicholas from Polymaker if he had any advice and he explained it more so came down to how the part was printed and not what it's printed with. All right, well that's staying there. <laughs> This is the old one, this is the new one. Now the tank is a lot bigger, it should flush. Ready? Go. Oh! Ah, there it goes! So now that I had a successful model, I began printing it in huge chunks, making sure to use anywhere from three to five walls, just depending on if the part had to hold water or not. This is absolutely taking forever. These two just finished. That's part of the bowl. Uh, that's part of the tank. This is the part that makes the water go from the tank to the bowl. I actually just got this printer and I, I didn't even test it out before I started printing. I was like, all right, three day print. Good luck. So we've got the toilet kind of put together so far. <sighs> ah! I'm gonna start World War III. Now I'm not gonna lie, okay? Some of this was getting to me. You go and try to print 30 different day-long prints and tell me you're not gonna get frustrated, okay? I was done. Oh, what's up? I'm just regretting everything. You know, I really thought this was a good idea in the beginning, and then after the first like three pieces I printed, I, I realized I was way in over my head. I'm not even 30 yet, and I'm already having a midlife crisis regarding 3D printing a toilet. Half the time I print things and, and then they, they fail, but I, I had already committed to the bit, and now here I am. I have like 30 kilograms worth of plastic, but it's just a toilet. My back is about to snap in half. Midlife crisis over. Back to toilet! Toilet time! Toilet time! We love toilet time! So I gathered up all the parts I had one by one and was slowly starting to realize the magnitude of the crime I was about to commit against humanity. Bro, this looks so bad! There's so much plastic! Like, I, I started and I didn't think it would be this bad. And, and then I was already in too deep. And I, I already committed and I had to keep going and then now it's this! Oh, environmentalists. Please forgive me for I have sinned. In my defense, you know, otherwise the plastic was just gonna sit on the shelf. And now it'll be a toilet. It's gonna be something. In worst case scenario, if it doesn't work as a toilet, I'm gonna have a pretty darn cool chair. So this is, this is all PLA. Uh, now we're just gonna be combining this together, uh, probably with some 3D glue and just a combination of that super glue and uh, welding seams together just so nothing leaks through. But yeah, th this is this is cursed. So I started putting it together and ended up using 3D gloop to assemble the parts since it actually chemically welds the plastic together. Then I used an old soldering iron to melt the outer seams of the pieces that needed to hold water. And I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, I spent the entire day plastic welding and gluing this toilet together. It's so cursed. It's a toilet. Environmentalist, turn around and cover your ears. This sucker is heavy, bro. But I haven't actually tried to sit on it yet. <laughs> Why did we make the toilet so wide? I am skinny, bro. I would fall in. But it holds up. Yeah, okay. So we want to actually get it to work. I've also got this TPU plunger thing. I printed it in TPU and I really didn't think about whether or not this would float or sink. I didn't think about that in my head. I should have thought about, yeah, yeah, I know. I should have done this with more infill. Actually, you know what? There's holes in this. <laughs> it might get water inside it and then it'll sink anyway. Problem solved. It'll sit right there. Obviously this guy will pull this guy up. So, uh, water time. You're good. You're good. 
you're good. I wonder what the neighbors think today. Now she's got a toilet. So the first test was okay. We poured a bunch of water in the bowl and that seemed to hold, and the pee trap worked the way it was supposed to as well. The only problem ended up being the tank. The flapper didn't want to hold completely, and it was leaking out in a couple other places as well. It's already dribbling out, it's not sealed. Ah! Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I'm gonna lift the entire thing up. I wanna see what a big flush would do. <laughs> so we're gonna have to make this seal better and then we're actually gonna have to seal some of the surface area of this piece right here because it's uh, actually letting some water through. You wanna know, <laughs> you wanna know what absorbs some water. <laughs> oh. We turned it upside down to drain out and look how much water is just draining out of existing in these pieces alone. So, in addition to sealing a couple things here and there, I came up with a way to refill the tank using water from a garden hose. Toilet time, toilet time, toilet time. This whole contraption is to refill the toilet. This is an attachment for a hose. Ideally, the water will go up through this block. As the tank fills, this bobber, which is hollow, will get pushed up because it floats and it'll seal off where the water from the hose is coming in. This is once again cursed. Let's try it. Is it on? It's working and look, it's not dripping down either. It's floating. The thing's starting to float. Uh, uh, will it do the thing that we want it to do? Uh, I'm gonna turn down the water pressure a little bit. Like I think it stopped. Shall we try to flush it? Flushing time, boys. Here we go. <laughs> we have done it. <laughs> Obviously, people are gonna wanna see someone use the actual toilet, right? All right. No. So, because I don't wanna get demonetized and I have a shred of respect left for myself, we're gonna, we're gonna <laughs> flush these guys down. You know the, the bamboo printer? These are referred to as it's, it's poops. It poops out the filament, so it, it's the same. It's the same thing. Oh no! We need to flush the toilet. Is it doing it? Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh, oh shoot! Now there's microplastics in my yard, but it's cool! Don't worry, I'm cleaning it up. Don't yell at me. All right, I want to try to flush more things. And uh, obviously, I mean, <clears throat> that's kind of awful. <gasps> oh, it did it. It's so gross, but it did it. As it refills, uh, what, what about a glove? Glove, glove floats too much. Okay, fine, forget the glove. Is it possible to clog it though? We gotta try, right? Oh, it's clogged. Oh, that was a little easier. I, I was expecting a different kind of clog. She did. No. Come here, Dan. No. Come here, Dan. No. No. Oh, wait, we should attach a toilet paper holder to the toilet. This was the point where I think the insanity had gotten to me a little bit more because nothing I did really made sense after this. I just craved chaos. Voila. Yeah! What if we did a bidet? Now we have the pump. Why is it not? Oh! 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 It's a bidet! Look at it! Okay, now what if I want to turn it off? It, it's just, a, it's just a, a bidet that continues on forever? Wait, 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 why is it getting higher? Why? Now it's gonna go over the edge! What do we do? Turn it down! Just a bad bidet! This is a water fountain! No, no! So the, the control- Uh, 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 uh! Whoa! Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, 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 uh, uh. Yeah, I kind of forgot that this works like a toilet. Let me get this off. Because I'm a woman. I feel like you're just spreading it. Why did we do this inside? Because it's cold? Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> this looks like you just dragged a bloody body. After installing that bidet, I realized I had created the ultimate toilet. Toilet paper holder bidet made of 30 kilograms of plastic. I, I actually don't know that number. I don't think that's true. But then I started to think, 
I made this. I can do anything I want with it. So how do I make it the actual ultimate toilet? This was the point of no return. I'm thinking armrests, okay? Cup holders. I think we even have a phone holder. I asked the peeps on Patreon. One guy says we need a phone charger. Someone else says that we should be able to go while we go. You know what that means? Wheels. Armrests. Mr. President! Get down, Mr. President! This looks like an old person toilet. We now have armrests. <laughs> this is epic. We have cup holder. We have phone charger. Number one, it has a lid, because, you know, it kind of needed one of those. Number two, uh, 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 uh. this is the most uncomfortable toilet ever. So say you want to watch an entire show, such as One Piece, sitting on the toilet. You can, because your arm is never gonna get tired. And do you really need to move? That reminds me. You thought I forgot about the wheels? Well, I didn't, but I, I should have. You think that little hold me? No. I feel like Charles Xavier. Emily can't come to the phone right now. She's using the bathroom. Oh wait, she can come to the phone? <gasps> so we didn't think that part through. I think this would have just been better off as like a regular toilet, you know? I think I have to kind of get around like this. It's like my feet can't touch the ground. It's like I need a little extra like, red. <laughs> wait a second, wait. Oh. Oh, no! <laughs> Watch out, world. I'm <laughs> no. We had some great times. Me in this toilet. I didn't even get a chance to, to flush it while I was riding it. You deserve one last good flush. Okay, actually, you know what? You, you, I think you're done. Sleep well, sweet prince.